Greetings children. This is the second part of your lesson, Landscape of the Soul. It is for CBC class 11 students. If you did not watch the first part, subscribe the channel, go watch and come back. In this video lesson, what we are going to learn is the concept of art brought and its pioneer, the French sculptor Jean Dubuffet and a greater contributor for this outsider art or art brat from India that is Nekchand, the creator of the famous rock garden at Chandigarh. So let us go to the textbook. The second segment of the lesson, landscape of the soul, starting from here, getting inside outsider art. We are getting into the concept of outsider art that is the title indicates here when french painter jean dubuffet mooted the concept of art brought in the 1940s the art of the untrained visionary was of minority interest so this section says us about the famous French painter Jean Dubuffet. He mooted the concept. Mooted means to bring as a topic for debate. He muted this concept of art brat. Art brat, art brat is a French phrase. And this movement started in sculpturing in the year 1940s. The art of the untrained visionary. So it implies the art of the untrained visionary. Untrained visionary here means the untrained artist sculptors was of minority interest in those days in 1940s and before that the works of the untrained people were not recognized and it began to recognize only after this movement started by Jean Dubuffet from its almost veiled beginning so this movement started very slowly, a veiled beginning. It did not get momentum when it started. It got momentum gradually. So is called veiled beginning. The outsider art. Outsider art is the English version of the French term art brat. Has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally so later it began to got momentum and internationally began to acclaim it now let us learn a little bit about these two things the artist Dubuffet and his concept art brat look at this picture this is Jean Dubuffet born in 1901 and died in 1985 a french painter and a sculptor his idealistic approach to aesthetic embraced so-called low art and eschewed traditional standards of beauty in favor of what he believed to be a more authentic and humanistic approach to image making so he gave a new dimension to the images he used it to make look at his painting here you will get an idea of his concept in painting he started creating images like this he is perhaps the best known for founding the art movement art brat now let us check what is this art brat art brat style the term Outsider art was coined as an English synonym for art brat. So it's an English synonym. Raw art or rough art. A label created by French artist Jean Dubuffet 
to describe art created outside the boundaries of official culture so this is the art created by the artist they belong or they are outside the boundaries of the official culture of sculpture making the english term outsider art is applied to certain self taught or naive art makers naive here means inexperienced or you can also say unexperienced new art makers who were never institutionalized who got any training from any school of painting or sculpturing typically those labeled as outsider artist have little or no contact with the mainstream art world or art institutions in many cases their work is discovered only after their deaths often outsider art illustrate extreme mental states unconventional ideas or elaborate fantasy world now come back to the textbook this genre is described as the art of those who have no right to be artist as they have received no formal training this is what we have just learned about art brat this is the art of those people who have got any training from any training schools it show talent and artistic insight it their work that to show talent and insight inborn quality in those artist the only shortcoming with them is they did not get any training from any masters their works are a stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings actually their works this outsider artist works a stimulating contrast to the mainstream art works come to the next paragraph around the time dubufe was propounding his concept he was put forward this concept of art brat or outsider art in india an untutored genius was creating paradise it was at the same time simultaneously when this french artist painter and sculptor propounding his concept of art brat in india at the same time was creating a paradise as an outsider artist years ago the little patch of jungle many years ago he started clearing the jungle that he began clearing to make himself a garden sculpted with the stone then he created a garden garden sculpted there clearing the jungle with stone and recycled material he used stones and recycled materials is known to the world today as the rock garden at chandigarh the famous rock garden at chandigarh its 80 year old creator director nekchand so nekchand is the creator director of this rock garden at chandigarh is now hailed as india's biggest contributor to outsider art he is the biggest contributor to outsider outsider art not only in india all over the world the 15th issue spring 2005 of rovision a uk based magazine a rovision is a uk based magazine and its spring issue in 2005 pioneer in outsider art this magazine is a pioneer in outsider art forms a prominent publisher in the outsider art features nekchand it featured nekchand 
and his rock garden sculpture. The magazine featured Nekchand in its annual publication and its front page carried the sculpture of women by the waterfall from the rock garden that became the cover page of the anniversary issue. Come to the next paragraph. The notion of artbrat or raw art artbrat or raw art was of works that were in their raw state as regards cultural and artistic influences. Artbrat or raw art because the artist did not get any training from any institution but their regards for cultural and artistic influences. Come to the next paragraph. The notion of artbrat or raw art was of works that were in their raw state as regards cultural and artistic influences. Regarding the cultural and artistic influences, this work remained as raw art or artbrat because this artist did not get any training from any institution or masters. Anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car could be material for a work of art. They used the waste materials like a tin or a sink. A sink is a basin to collect water to wash dishes. To a broken down car, the part of a broken down car could be material for a work of art. Something Nekchand has taken to dizzy heights. With this unusable materials, waste materials, Nekchand created art at a dizzy height, at the utmost level. He created sculptures. Recognizing his art as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dreams. A single man can make such a wonder in the world that he proved. It's a testimony. Outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make. The Swiss Commission for UNESCO will be honoring him by way of European exposition of his works. Then the Swiss Commission for UNESCO, they honored him by way of European exposition of his works. Many countries in Europe, his artwork were exposed. The five month interactive show Rim of Nekchand beginning October will be held at leading museums in Switzerland, Belgium, France and Italy. In such manner he was honored. He got honor from all the corners of the world. The biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation, Nekchand says. But as an artist, as a sculptor, his greatest reward, he used to say, when he saw people walking around the garden at Chandigarh and enjoying his creation. That was his greatest reward. This lesson, this part of the lesson is written by Brinda Suri, an article published in Hindustan Times 28th August 2005. So this part is about Artbrat and uh, a little bit about uh, one of the pioneers of this outsider art from India, Nekchand. Now let us go and watch that rock garden, a pictorial presentation of rock garden. Enjoy it. Look at the sculptures in the rock garden. All these are created with the stones and waste materials.
and the wonder of it is it is created by a single man these are sculptures from waste materials and if you get a chance go and watch this in real